definitely your prediction for Saturday night. Um, I, I'm probably Golovkin, probably around midway, five, six, seven rounds, something like that. Body shot or? You don't know, do he's, 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 he's pretty, he's got good variety, he hits hard to head and body, as I can testify. So, uh, yeah. Okay, well tell me, you know, how, how hard does the dude hit? Well, do you know what, he didn't catch me with anything really clean to the head, so yeah. he didn't like buzz me to the head. Uh -huh. I mean, he hit me with some solid jabs and, you know, that kind of thing, but, um, no, the, 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 the body shot broke two of my ribs, so that was a pretty, pretty hard shot. Like, I always like asking this question, like, you know, you fight a lot of guys, and like, how really is that power? Is it a power where, like, they touch you and you feel it all through your body, or is it something where it's, like, just so fast, you're like, oh, yeah. it gets your attention? So, Martinez hit fast, yeah. and he hit you from all, all cool angle, awkward angles with shots you didn't <laughs> see. So, I would say, he wasn't a heavy concussive one-punch knockout specialist as such, but he was spiteful. You know, he had spiteful power, like, he put me down, you know, in the later round. But, um, definitely accurate and spiteful, and he hit you with shots from funny angles you didn't see. Golovkin was more heavy-handed, accurate, thudding. You know, I only got really got hit with jabs and a couple of straight rights, but I knew I could. I knew I didn't want to take a big clean left hook. You know what I mean? I knew I didn't want to get hit with a, a shot I didn't see. So you, you know, you're under. You, and he's, he was so good at uh, his positioning in the ring was so good. He was so good at cutting the ring off that he was exerting a lot of pressure while at the same time conserving energy himself. So you know, you're kind of like it's two rounds in but you felt like you've done six rounds and he looks like he's only in first gear yeah. so you know your conscious is 12 round fight so this is something you're you're obviously dealing with what's happening there and then but you're also thinking geez i'm i'm, I'm blown up this i can't keep this pace i've got to do something here and then um you know you, you're just preoccupied with a lot of things it keeps you kind of guessing keeps you thinking and then obviously you got with the body shot which and that was very painful yeah was it the hardest puncher you ever faced in a career? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Without a doubt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it was something where, like, where you, like, you felt the punch, not, not the body shot, but when you felt his punches, you're like, oh, fuck, all right. Yeah, I mean, it was it was solid. It was heavy handed, it was accurate, it was solid. It, he didn't catch me with like a clean right hook. Yeah. So I can't testify to what that would have felt like. Maybe I wouldn't know. Yeah. But um, I, I knew I didn't want to take it. You know, I knew, I knew that he had the kind of power to take me out. So, you know, I was obviously very, very preoccupied with catching the headshots. Yeah. That's how he got me to the body. Mm -hmm.